Hello and welcome back to Scale Down Customs. Uh, this is going to be part three of Ravel's Ford Bronco, the first generation in uh, 125th scale. And so in this one, we're going to focus on the body and the interior. Uh, get this thing painted up and uh, hopefully get this thing finished in this video. So for the body paint, I'm going to be using Gravity Colors. They're Ford Dynasty Green. So uh, let's get up to the spray booth and we'll put a couple of coats of this on. So we got the Ford Dynasty green on everything. Um, I didn't show it, but this is three coats on this body. And this paint actually covers really nicely. So I just did the third coat just to make sure everything was blended and where it needed to be. So let's uh, move ahead to the interior. I want to paint these white. So we're going to get these masked off and paint these uh, door panels white. taped up ready for white paint and I'm going to be using the Tamiya White X2. This is going to be their gloss base. We're going to go get this painted up white and then we'll be ready for some decals. let those dry up and then we'll be ready for some decals got my bucket of warm water and my decal sheet and then my micro scale industries micro set and then the micro sol just to kind of help me remember i wrote one and two on them because this is the one i put on first 
and then if I need to have it set down a little bit more, this is the one I put on after. All right, so let's put some decals on. Wow, I really struggled with these decals. I don't know if just kind of they just kind of wanted to stick to the parts. I couldn't slide them around. Anyway, uh, a couple of them went on pretty good, and a couple of them did not. So rather than fight with it too much, I just tried to go with it. Uh, that one got a little wrinkled there. I couldn't get it out. Um, the seats went on pretty good. Got a little gap there in the bottom. And then this one went on the easiest. I used a lot of water and then the gap a little bit on the bottom joined up a little bit too much so it's a little dark but anyway so there we go we're gonna let these decals dry out and then we'll get a dull coat over there to make it look like they're vinyl and then we'll get the decals on the body and ready for some clear coat. All right, so I got my flat clear sprayed on there and I just used the Tamiya flat clear for that and I also decided to do a little detail painting on the engine bay. So I uh, painted up some parts on that as well. So let's get this all unmasked and uh, keep moving ahead.
All right. Not too bad. Got a little bit of blow through in a couple spots, but um, looks pretty good. So we'll do a little more detail painting on that engine bay. But, uh, that looks pretty good. All right. I'm going to try put the decals on the body and the hood. And since I struggled so much with those last decals, I'm going to add a little bit of soap uh, to my water, just a drop or two, because I want to see if that gives me a little bit more lubricity when I'm putting the decals on the body. Hopefully it'll give me a little more time to be able to move the decals around before they start setting up. So we'll see what that does. I think that soap in the water trick helped out a lot so and I didn't use any decal set solution either so that may have been that may have helped to give me some time to slide these things around to get them into place so I didn't have to fight with those as much as I thought I was going to it's interesting that the decal was gonna go over the lower hinge and it wouldn't fit so I just trimmed around it which is kind of hard to do when they're wet but anyway something to look out for when you're doing your decals we're ready for some clear coat so for my clear coat I'm going to be using the gravity colors 2k clear um, and this is nice because it has the mix ratio right on the bottle so three parts clear one part activator and one part thinner and so the first coat is going to be kind of a light tack coat kind of a lighter medium coat and then the second coat will be pretty heavy and then the third coat pretty heavy and sometimes on the third coat I'll add a little bit more thinner just to thin it out, just to have it flow a little bit smoother over the body. So let's go uh, spray some clear.
right, let's add some detail painting to some of our interior pieces, the dashboard, the door panels, things like that. So first of all, we're gonna be using uh, just the Molotel Liquid Chrome. I'm just gonna put a couple drops on my paint palette, piece of tape, and then just brush paint this on like you would any other paint.
I'm going to add a little bit of panel line accent color into these panel lines and the vent there and maybe a little on the door cards as well. Alright, so when you use the panel line accent color, you, you'll get a little bit of overspill onto the higher areas that you don't want. And a lot of times you can just kind of rub it off lightly, but you want to make sure that your recesses are dry so that you don't touch it with your Q-tip or whatever you're rubbing off of there and pull the wet material back up onto the surface. So just let that dry off so it's not shiny anymore. And then you should be able to just kind of take a Q-tip or something and just kind of rub just gently enough to kind of rub that panel line accent color off of the surface areas. And if it's set up a little bit too much, sometimes I find that the Mr. Hobby Solvent 110, which is kind of, it's a pretty mild solvent. Um, a lot of times just a little bit of that will kind of help remove some of that panel line accent color that's raised up on the surfaces a little bit. So for my dial glass, I'm going to mix up some uh, epoxy and uh, put that in there. Equal parts for this. So we're going to let that set up and then we'll be ready for some uh, for some insulation of the interior. And then for my clear coat, I did get some dust spots. There's a pretty good spot right there. Um, and in the body, there's some dust spots as well that we'll have to be sanding and polishing out. So we'll save that for the next video. So make sure you stay tuned for that so we can get the, we'll get the interior completed up and the body finished up with sanding and polishing and uh, final assembly. So I think that'll do it for this video. Make sure you stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.